once again, I see this Philadelphia 76ers team getting eliminated in the second round of the playoffs in this upcoming playoff season. Even though they're doing good in the regular season right now because, hey, I mean, let's just keep it real. Uh, Joe Embiid, it looks like Joe Embiid will win another MVP trophy because he's having a very good season uh, individually. And the Philadelphia 76ers are right now the number three seed of the Eastern Conference. But um, looking at the games that they played, right, I just don't see them making it past the second round of the playoffs in this upcoming uh, playoffs. Of course, they will make the playoffs. This is a playoff bound team. But just like the past, what, three, four, five seasons, I see them being eliminated from in the second round. Especially if they play a team like the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks in the second round, or even if they play a healthy Miami Heat team in the second round. I don't see them beating the Miami Heat. Hell, I'll say this. They better be glad that Mitchell Robinson of the New York Knicks will miss the rest of the season. Because if Mitchell Robinson stayed healthy throughout the whole season, in which Lord knows he can't, the dude's like a the dude's like a low tier Anthony Davis. Can't stay healthy to save his life, right? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, you know. Shout outs to Mitchell Robinson. But um had Mitchell Robinson stayed healthy throughout the entire season and stayed healthy during the playoffs, I believe the Knicks would have a shot at eliminating the 76ers if they met in the playoffs this year. So <laughs> before anyone comes and laugh at me, let me tell you, let me break it down. Now, Mitchell Robinson is a very good interior defender. Now, granted, granted, Joe Embiid would still get his points off of Mitchell Robinson, but Mitchell Robinson would be able to at least contain uh, Joe Embiid, especially in the playoffs. A healthy Mitchell Robinson would be able to at least contain Joe Embiid to a certain degree. If Mitchell Robinson was healthy, Let's say this, hypothetically speaking, if Mitchell Robinson was healthy and the Knicks played against the 76ers in the playoffs and Mitchell Robinson was able to keep Joe Embiid to average 25 points or less in, in, um, in the series, the Knicks will easily beat the Phoenix, no, excuse me, the Philadelphia 76ers. Within six to seven games. I see that. Because defensively as a team. I don't see the 76ers. Could be able to stop the Knicks. If you had a healthy Knicks team. You know I don't see. Um, Tobias Harris being able to stop. Uh, um, could be able to stop. What's this, what's this man's name? The, 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 I could be forgetting these damn names man. Um, Julius Randle. Right. I don't see Thaddeus, you know, Tobias, excuse me, Tobias Harris being able to stop Julius Randle. I don't see anyone from Philadelphia's backcourt being able to stop uh, um, Jalen Jalen Brunson, right? Shoot. So someone might say what Tyrese Maxey would be. Tyrese Maxey, uh, Defensively, I don't see him being able to put a stop on Jalen Brunson. All right. Now, the only way that this Philadelphia 76ers team can make it over the hump by getting past the second round of the playoffs is if Tyrese Maxey steps up. Is as he, if he steps up as a star within these playoffs. Now, don't get me wrong. Right now in the regular season, Tyrese Maxey is doing good. But remember this: the regular season, regular season basketball and playoff basketball are two different things. 
this is what separates men from boys to how you do in the playoffs and, and how you do in the regular season. If you're able to consistently play great in both the regular season and the playoffs, that's what separates the stars from the average players. That's what separates the men from the boys. And if Tyrese Maxey is able to elevate his game and play great in the playoffs, then the 76ers can have a shot at making it over the hump and getting past the second round of the playoffs. But Tyrese Maxey would have to play great because all teams have to do, especially teams like the Miami Heat, a healthy Miami Heat, right? The Boston Celtics and even the Milwaukee Bucks is really put a lot of pressure on Joel Embiid and contain his scoring. And you 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 really stop the team from stop the Sixers from winning right there. Unless if Tyrese Maxey steps it up in the playoffs and really bring that help that Joe MB need, especially from a guard at the wing that would put a lot less pressure on big men in the middle. Even though big men now are open at the wing too, playing like guards and shit. You know, <laughs> yeah. Unless if that happens, I don't see the 76ers making it past the second round of the playoffs. No matter how good they're doing right now as a team. And they're doing good. They're doing good right now. I mean, like I said, third, uh, third best team in the Eastern Conference right now. They're doing good. Tyrese Maxey right now is doing good. He's averaging a little bit over 25 points a game, right? He's doing good. And once again, Joe Embiid is having a stellar year. You know, I believe that Joe Embiid will win the league MVP this year. I believe that. You might as well, you, you might as well stop, stop the MVP votes. Don't even try to, uh, you know, do an MVP vote, you know. You just you just might as well give Joe Embiid the MVP trophy right now in, in December. <laughs> you might as well do it. Because he's going to win that MVP uh, crown anyway. Unless if Anthony Edwards win it. <laughs> oh, that's another that's that's another player who have a shot at the MVP uh, um trophy this year, but cuz Anthony Edwards is really doing the damn thing. He, he's surprising me, but my money is on Joe Embiid, right? But even though these things are go, these great things are going on with the 76ers as a team, I don't really see this 76ers team actually going past the second round of the playoffs, especially if they meet teams like the Boston Celtics, the a healthy Miami Heat team, or or the um or the Milwaukee Bucks. These three teams, if they meet if they meet the 76ers in any part of the playoffs, will beat the 76ers. I'll say a healthy Miami Heat team would beat the 76ers in six games. Uh the Boston Celtics right now would beat the Philadelphia Sixers in five games. Same thing with the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. I believe that. Let me see the Milwaukee Bucks record right now. Milwaukee Bucks are number two in the Eastern Conference. The Boston Celtics are number one in the Eastern Conference. The Heat is number four in the Eastern Conference, right? You know, those three teams, if they meet the 76ers in the playoffs, especially in the second round, they'll beat the Sixers, no matter how good the Sixers do in the regular season. Hell, like I said before, if the Knicks still had Mitchell, a uh, 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 healthy Mitchell Robinson, I see them, I see this Knicks team beating the 76ers in the playoffs. So I think this is just going to be another repeat of the 76ers doing great in the regular season and not so 
in the playoffs. What do you guys think? Peace.